major story, one that exposes the military, naval and territorial ambitions of China. A Chinese firm is constructing a runway. This runway is 10,500 feet long. It will be the biggest in Cambodia, constructed near the Dara Sakor International Airport on the southwestern coast. This coast has a tight turning bay. Because such a situation makes it suitable for the deployment of fighter jets. Now there are fears that China is preparing to base its troops in Cambodia. The US believes that this runway is for military purposes. The Pentagon says it will only disturb peace in Southeast Asia. Now here we have to understand the land deal to understand China's intentions. Now just like the Humble, the land deal for Dara Sakor in Cambodia is also for 99 years. Which means that China has secured 20% of Cambodia's coastline for 99 years without any transparent open bidding process. Between 2013 and 2017, China has invested more than $4.5 billion in Cambodia. So has China the Cambodian bought government, of course, denies that China's troops will be deployed on its soil. It also says that China is only planning a resort, of all things, and an investment zone in Cambodia. But if history is anything to go by, China will expand its military presence behind the facade of civilian projects. China seeks to achieve its objectives bit by bit. And therefore, whatever project it begins to provide a civilian facade to it, and then ultimately brings in the strategic slash military objectives. So this field, airfield, will initially be used clearly for civilian purposes, but over a period of time, as the port becomes ready, then you will see Chinese warships docking at this port and the runway being used for strategic slash military purposes. Now the question is, why would China want to set up a military base in Cambodia? U.S. sanctions on Cambodia have forced it to side with China. China is Cambodia's largest trading partner and investor. China calls the shops already in this country and it plans to expand its influence. But unlike Russia, which an ex-Crimea in one shot, China plays a gradual game. Cambodia is very much like Pakistan, you could say. China can use the military base in Cambodia just like China uses Pakistan to destabilize India. To top it off, China and Vietnam both have disputes in the South China Sea, so China is hitting two birds with one stone. Not only Vietnam, this development also has implications for India. Experts view this as a part of China's string of pearls defense strategy, a plan to expand China's access in South China Sea, Indian Ocean region, and the rim of Indian Ocean. A plan to undermine... What China is doing in Cambodia is part and parcel of China's string of pearls strategy, which aims to place China in all the key port facilities in, the, in Southeast Asia and in the Indian Ocean region. In a way, the Strings of Pearls strategy is encircling India because China already is deploying India's north uh, along the Himalayan borders. And this maritime encroachment into India's uh, backyard completes the encirclement of India. So this Strings of Pearls strategy, of which Cambodia is only one element, has important implications for Indian security in the long run. So look at this. Look at the string of ports. Ports in Gwadar and Karachi in Pakistan, commercial port in Hamban Tota in Sri Lanka, a container facility in Chittagong in Bangladesh, ports in Myanmar, naval bases in the Maldives and the Seychelles, and strategic dominance in the Strait of Malacca. This Cambodia runway to the list. In simple terms, Cambodia is now officially a client state of China. The Prime Minister of Cambodia, Hun Sen, is extremely close to Beijing. Earlier this year, the Wall Street Journal reported that he has given China exclusive access to the Reem naval base in Cambodia for 30 years. This is a dangerous game, one that India should be wary of and be prepared to risk.